and the gents were together here with Jack Savoretti. Ciao. Uh, nice to meet you. <laughs> nice to meet you uh, too. Welcome here in Romania for the second time. Yeah, it's you, amazing. You've been uh, two years ago uh, here. Two years ago, it feels like yesterday, but it was two years ago. Same venue. Uh, we had a smaller setup, but tonight's going to be incredible. It's massive, a lot of people, so it's going to be fun. How was it two years ago? It was crazy because it's one of those, my relationship with Romania, it's only happened a few other places like in Greece where the music has brought me to the country. Sometimes you've got to travel a lot, you've got to promote, you've got to let people know you've got music. Whereas in Romania, the music came first. So I'm coming now and it's a surprise. I remember the first time we came, we didn't know if anybody would show up and we had 2000 people show up to listen to me and a guitar. Tonight we've got the full band. We've got, I think, almost 6000 people coming tonight. So it's going to be amazing. It's amazing. I came here, I told you, I came here uh, and my friend was calling and said, what are you doing? I'm going to take an interview to Jack Savoretti. And she said, oh my God, I'm coming tonight. <laughs> Just tell me how he is. So amazing. She will see this interview. We're Hi, very Monica. excited. Ciao, Monica. We're Ciao, very Monica. excited. See you tonight. Okay. Uh, tell me, are you more English or more Italian? Because uh, you have, your mother is uh, half uh, Polish, Half Jewish? Romanian. My, my grandfather no was Romanian. Way. Romanian so Polish. You yeah. have uh, or Romanian European origins? roots. Romanian origins. Yeah, from my mother's side. From my father's side, full Italian. And your heart is? <laughs> when I'm in Italy, I feel English. When I'm in England, I feel Italian. Why? Because that's how people see me. Okay, yeah. <laughs> and I think it's that, more that, exotic. Yeah, you're... well, it, you, you just feel, I always feel like the guy from out of town. I always feel like I'm outside, which when I was younger was difficult. Now I really like it. I like to have that, I don't know, to have that difference. It makes me feel un unique. It makes me... Also, I like relating to cultures, all the cultures that I'm deeply rooted in. I feel European to be honest, more than English or Italian. When I'm in Germany, when I, even when I'm in Romania, I feel very much at home, much more than when I travel to other parts of the world. So I think I feel European, yeah. So now you live in England, but uh, when you were young, you traveled a lot, you stayed in yeah. a lot of places. Which one did you enjoy more or left you with some good memories? Well, I was very fortunate to grow up in Switzerland as well for about 10 years when I was a kid. And to spend your, your childhood in the beauty of the Swiss Alps, the weather, the nature, the, the people. Switzerland is an amazing country. Naturally speaking, it's one of the most beautiful countries in the world. Italy, of course, you know, it has my heart. Places like Portofino, where I grew up, are amazing. Genova as a city is unbelievable. But I love England too. I live in Oxfordshire now, um, and it's given me probably the best life I could ever dreamed of. I have three beautiful children, four dogs. Four dogs, you have to do one more child to make it To, to make it even, yeah. yeah the, the dogs, we're outnumbered by the dogs. Um, but so it's, yeah, I love Oxfordshire. I think it's a beautiful part of the world. The weather is not great, uh, but the food's getting better and the people are amazing. Where do you do your uh, holidays? Uh, because Spain. we Romanian, we go like a lot in Italy. So we're, yeah. we're, we're crazy about Italy, about Porto, Portofino, Cinque Terre yeah. and all those. Uh, oh, me too. Parts. I love going to Italy as much as I can. It's funny that when I go to Italy, I don't feel like I'm on holiday. I feel like I'm going home. So it's a different thing. If I want to go on holiday, I want to sort of explore a different culture, something I don't know. So I love going to Spain and I'm starting to feel very much at home going to Spain. But we like to travel. Once a year, we like to do some long journey and go and see smells we don't know, languages we don't know, taste. and tastes taste. we don't know. Yeah, go and experience something different. It's really, I think that's really amazing to do. When you have children, you really see the magic, how much confidence it gives children when they travel and experience different cultures and realize that every there are differences all over the world, but we're the same everywhere we go. <laughs> uh, talking about children, uh, do you think that you as a child, it helped you a lot when you uh, travel, no, not travel, because you stayed in a lot of uh, parts of Europe. Uh, mm -hmm. uh, uh, it helped you as a human being developing your your character, your uh, your sense of being as a human being. Yeah, I think absolutely. I think it travel teaches you patience. Uh, what's amazing about when you travel is that you're you're on, you're switched on. You can't be aloof when you travel. Your your senses have to pay attention. So you do notice more things, and you notice that you know you get some cultures where the language sounds different and you might be intimidated by it, but the longer you give it, you realize actually, no, that's just the way they express themselves and there's differences. And all of your preconceived ideas of communication, of, of manners, of culture, they change. 
and it's not that one is right or wrong they're just different and i think the more you travel you start to be less what's right and what's wrong and more curious about how we are different it opens your yeah. uh, your perspective absolutely yeah. let's go to music because you started uh, writing poetry as I, as far as i know mm. and then you switched or you just uh, advanced to music Well, I think they're the same thing. I think music is poetry and poetry is music. It's some uses notes, others uses words, but essentially you're trying to, it's like a photograph. You're trying to capture a sensation, a feeling, an emotion or a story or some sort of narrative and encapsulate it and make it live forever, either by using notes or by using words. Um, and it's images essentially at the end of the day. So I think that that's kind of the same thing. For me, what happened when you put them together The creation of the song, what we call the song, to me is magic because I love the sort of frame. It's a bit like when you paint, it's beautiful, but when you put a beautiful painting in a beautiful frame, it's even more amazing because it really allows you to focus on the craft. So what I love about songs is that it really allows you to focus in on the craft of beautiful words, beautiful notes, and hopefully a beautiful narrative or an interesting story that captures your attention. And that's how you got to uh, the people's heart, uh, the people who are listening to you. At Europa FM we have two uh, singles, uh, the featuring with Tsukero, Senzo oh, wow. which was in heavy rotation for <laughs> okay. oh, one year already. Oh, cool. And uh, Ultime Parole also, oh, cool. it's, it's very... With Natalie. Yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah, yeah. Uh, it's been like almost 20 years since your single debut on 9th of October 2006. Wow, you're good. <laughs> yeah, and you're, the day before my birthday, the many day years ago. Yeah. yeah, do you think this is a sign? I remember at the time thinking it was a sign, <laughs> but it wasn't. Um, yeah, that's a long time ago. It's almost 20 years, um, but yeah, it's. I'm, I'm enjoying it now more than ever. I think it's like anything, I think in life with experience, I took for granted a lot for many years. I took for granted what this is. Um, and But you work a lot, 20 years is a lot for... I, th I think that's why I enjoy it. I think what I noticed is a lot of friends of mine and colleagues where this happened very quickly, they didn't realize how magic this is. They just thought, oh, that was easy. And now a lot of them have lost it. We didn't have this ever. This has taken 20 years to show up to a country we've only been to once and sell out a beautiful arena like this. But everybody here has worked for it. We know exactly why we're here and we know exactly how difficult it is to get here. And so I think that makes us appreciate every single person here tonight has our heart because we're very grateful to be here. Has this, the music industry changed you in this 20 years uh, journey? I'd like to think that we're changing the music industry. Um, I don't think the industry has changed me. I've never really been involved in the music industry. I've always managed to just kind of stay just outside of it. You're a lucky one. <laughs> well, yeah, kind of. You're a lucky uh, one, yeah. I think, look, the music industry doesn't need me and I've always wanted to be in a place where I don't need the music industry. But sometimes working together, good things happen. And that's how I've always liked to look at my relationship with any industry. Um, but I think, I hope that we have changed, not the industry, but I hope we have changed. We've shown a lot of people who are starting out today, artists who have been following us, musicians or whatever for the last 20 years there is a diff you can do it any way you want like there isn't one way of doing it um, and I hope that we show that every day and this is proof that you don't have to be a part of the music industry to to get your music heard and listened to by people and that's amazing you launched your seventh album uh, this year Miss Italia why Miss Italia it's a play on words that I miss Italia yeah a lot of people are like what's Miss Italia but that it's just a, it was like a little tongue-in-cheek we say in English it was an album it's weird it's it's the first album I didn't want to make I had to make it um, my father passed away two and a half years ago and he was my my root thank you he was my link if I thought of my father I thought of Italy if I thought of Italy I thought of my father that was kind of the thing so when he When he when he left us, he hasn't left us, but yeah, when he passed um, to the other side, this was my way of staying connected. Was listening to Italian music. When I, you know, tra grief is a very traumatic experience. It's a very strange experience because it's not emotional, it's not psychological, it's physical. Like you feel it, it in your bones, in your bones yeah. and it can leave you to a point where you can't move. And the only thing that was moving me was Italian music. Like if I listened to Italian music, I felt him and I just felt, I felt something. So I loved singing Italian music and I thought I want to write in Italian. Because I was writing a lot in English, but it wasn't doing 
what I needed it to do. And so next thing I knew, I had a bunch of songs and I thought, let's make an album, let's do this. And it was one of the greatest experiences of my life. And they sound amazing just Thank because you. it's from your soul. And I think he lives through, through you. I agree. You're connected between, <laughs> uh, you. between you two. Uh, so tonight is going to be a great show. Uh, people are waiting so. <laughs> for, uh, for you. Uh, do you have some messages from for, the, for our listeners who enjoy your music? And uh, maybe they're going to come on uh, your next concert here in Romania because I think they're going to be in it next concert here the, we're definitely coming back I, uh, yeah um thank you thank you for bringing us here i mean this is a beautiful country i love bucharest i have a history with bucharest because i've come and gone a few times as a kid traveling but thank you for getting us here thank you for listening to the music and yeah keep on coming and we'll keep on playing grazie, grazie thank te. you so much for Ciao. having this interview grazie. so Ciao. good luck thank you so much thank you <laughs> and uh, see you next time cool definitely <laughs>